We eat out a good bit. Now today, I eat spaghettis for leftovers that my wife cooked. It was really good. You know how some food tastes better when it's leftover. My wife said she wanted a salad. Still $23. She don't like eating leftovers. She said, well, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. You know, we'll make this leftovers. But she don't eat nothing. <laughs> you gotta love her. But yeah, that's what this video is about. Showing us eating out and fussing about everything going up. You know, and trying to have fun with it. You know. And then I got to see uh, Papa Smurf. So stay tuned. You'll see it. It's kind of cool. Grandma D. Ritz. Toast. Beautiful eye. I'm not. Biscuit, egg. Nah, that's a waffle. That's bacon. Bo-day, Bojangles chicken. Man, it tastes so crunchy and good. It's like a snack pack. After my wife spent all our money on groceries, she went and bought a chocolate cake pop. It's like cake. Is that what it is? That's what it tastes like. It's kind of like candy. Not bad. What do you think? It's like buds. Yeah. It's called a chocolate cake pop. Like but it's like it's kind of like fudge. That bitch. Yeah. That I want to eat more one. Papa Smurf's telling me, "Hey, take that go song, but no." Papa Smurf. Boom. My wife likes these tangerines too, or mandarines, whatever they call them. Hold up the tangerine, baby. Yep. Woo. -hoo. Man, it never fails. Don't you hate it when you make a list and then other people don't go back? <laughs> yeah, my wife, I said, we only need mayonnaise and a little fruit thing. It's only going to be like $11. She said, well, I need the milk. $42. $11 turned into $42. Then it was $85 Sam's Club. It's crazy. Just for little stuff. I, I said, you know, the, the way not to spend too much is going there with a list. So we we knew we wanted at Sam's Club bread, roast beef. What all we get? <laughs> I know we got bread and roast beef. It was eighty five bucks. She wanted some some razors. I got me a pack of toothpaste. That was thirty dollars, but up for those two things. And it got some oranges. Not too much else. One to two more things. Eighty-five dollars. Then we we wanted cheese. She so didn't get the cheese a bit for forty-two. And then, oh, we're out of dog food. I need to go shopping myself. Have a list, and that's it. That's the way we do it. That's why guys usually, some of us, we go in there, we buy what we need and get out because we ain't got enough money to buy everything. <laughs> That's why we do that. But yeah, man, it's crazy. Pre-pandemic, I remember 2018, I was working at a job like uh, Comcast and then I worked at Walmart and I was doing DoorDash. And I was busy. <laughs> and I remember the uh, employees in the Walmart, man, I just got paid and I'm broke. They'd be broke two days and you got paid every two weeks. So they had a thing where you could get half your check early. And I don't think it cost anything like an even app or something like that. But, you know, everybody be complaining. Everybody be like feeling like a big dog on payday and then... Two days later, then you had to work the rest of the days and no pay. <laughs> That's what it feels like now with the inflation going on. You get paid, you buy what you need, pay your bills. If you can do that, <laughs> you know, the ones you can't worry about, you don't worry about. <laughs> and then you're broke. 
And then you're broke before you're broke. That's like, what? Somebody right here. This is a, uh, it's like some backwards math. You know, you see the other countries, they're doing, like we add the numbers in the columns and they're taking this number, circling it and making that number. Well, this is some new math where you put all your money in, you put it all in and you don't get it out. You put it in and it don't get it out. <laughs> so you just got to laugh at it as long as you can still buy the food and, and now it's getting warm. So everybody's going outside. I, I'm waiting till my grass grows, you know, because the pollen usually gives me a fit. My May is usually bad. I sneezed a little bit, but I'm okay. But uh, seen, I seen one of my neighbors rode by their house. They're spreading grass seed everywhere. Another one's cutting this big old tree. Never really noticed this tree before. <laughs> and I've been, I've been over there almost 2020 in August. Three and a half years. And I've seen the tree a hundred times. But when I looked at it, it's a big old like fern or whatever. It's huge. It probably has a 30 foot base. I knew it was there, but I didn't really pay no attention to it. And when they was out there, I guess while well, they were cleaning it up, they made it look good. And it really stuck out. And it's like it's like seeing a pyramid on Mars with the face on it or something. I know this stuff, but I didn't see that. It was foggy on the way to work this morning. I seen a deer cross the road, but I didn't see that big old fern. It's huge. Oh, wow. <laughs>